my friends. Today I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of Lolita wigs for you. If I sound a little melancholy, it's because I am. Um, some days is just like that. But yeah, I only had today to like film this and hang out and chat with you guys. And I really do love doing that. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will warm up in a few moments time. Um, but I thought I'd mention just in case my regulars, you know, they can, they can probably tell. But anyways, we should just get onto it. I was super lucky to choose a bunch of Lolita wigs from the website UV Me to review for you guys. So I think like all of these wigs here are like classified as Lolita wigs, um, which means they're really, they're basically just fashion wigs. Um, so you could wear them with any kinds of fashion. I only wear wigs like this uh, with Lolita fashion in particular, um, but they are not cosplay wigs. So there's a big difference there. Um, even if the character has kind of casual looking hair, I suppose, or something like that, most Lolitas can often tell when it's a cosplay wig and it just it doesn't look uh, quite right. But yeah, anyways, so I chose all of these wigs um, that I will try on and review for you. I will quickly mention that UV Me is a Taobao reseller or on seller, um, whatever that word is. So yeah, all of these items you will be able to find on Taobao for cheaper. But the thing about UV Me is, you know, they ship directly to your country and you don't need a shopping service like you do when you're shopping from Taobao. Um, so that price increase might be worth it for some people who just don't want to deal with Taobao shopping um, but yeah there's a lot of companies like this on the internet that have really cute stuff and yeah it just it just comes from Taobao originally um, so yeah that is what it is I'll link a video down below for you which is a Lolita who explains how to shop from Taobao if you're interested and then like the really cool thing is you can um you know like use an image to search um, and then so you can find like the exact product. Um, so my favorite, my favorite uh, wig store on Taobao is Alice Garden. And sometimes I have received wigs from UV Me that have Alice Garden tag inside. Um, and so yeah, that's cool. That is what it is, I guess. So the wigs come packaged like this from UV Me, and they're cute wee bags. I do really like the bags, and they have the kind of zip at the top so they're really good for storage you know definitely keep them to store your wigs in or to store other things like materials and crafts and stuff like that i'm gonna unbox all of the wigs now and show you how they look and then i'll be trying all of them on at the end of the video so this is my natural hair at the moment in case you were wondering um i figured since i'm gonna be popping on a bunch of wigs i can't really be bothered starting off in a wig um so yeah in case you wondered what this wig was it's not so here is one of the wigs um now this has come with a couple of buns that i ordered can you see them um but i don't think the buns are for this wig because they're different uh, color of blonde so I think they just put them inside of this bag um, but yeah so here we have a wig cap with our wig um, it is a black wig cap which is not ideal when you've got light colored wigs you know you would really want a beige one and I do wear beige wig cap caps when I'm wearing lighter color wigs um, so yeah this will just go in my stash of black wig caps so this wig comes with three of these wig clasps on the inside. So I have gotten wigs from UV Me before which do not come with those clasps, um, which is poor quality when that is the case. I don't always use the clasps. It depends um, how heavy the wig is because I don't really like a lot of pins and stuff in my hair. It kind of hurts too much. Um, but yeah, so that's good. This one has it. And most of their wigs um, have a little bit of silicone at the top you can kind of, maybe you can see the patch there, um, but it's just to make a really more natural kind of um, scalp or like hairline, you know what I mean? It's quite handy um, when it has this if you have dark hair like me or like a black wig cap and you don't have a beige one. Um, this stops the dark color uh, showing through the top where like the parting is which is quite nice. This wig that I got is really cute. I'm really loving it. It's kind of this like Maybe it's like an ashy blonde color at the top and then it's ombre into this lovely purple and it's like curly which I'm super into um, I really adore the ombre it's nice and um what's the word like smooth all the way down it's not a real like harsh sharp ombre which is not my jam um, and then it also comes with bangs and I love me some bangs um, so yeah that is really cute it's cut quite nicely like um it looks like it's feathered down there's no like sharp jagged you know <laughs> side cuts sometimes there are um, but yeah so this is the first wig next up is a blonde wig 
which has also come with a black wig cap. So this blonde wig looks really nice. Now I've had trouble in finding a um, long blonde wig that was of the appropriate tone, I suppose. Um, perhaps if you saw my other UV Me wig haul, yeah, I tried to get a blonde one and it was just kind of green on my skin. Sorry, a bit noisy. Um, but yeah, I feel like this one looks really nice. Um, perhaps I'll put it on and then we'll see how it looks. Um, but it's just another nice long wig with like a little bit of a curl at the bottom. It's not like curly hair. I kind of just feel like it's just, you know, got some subtle curls at the bottom a little bit. Um, and of course, with bangs, again, I just, I prefer bangs. It's a lot easier and I'm not fluffing around with, um, you know, lace fronts. They just, they take a lot more time and effort. Um, yeah, so this one as well, actually, sorry, has three of the wig clasps on the inside, which is great. And it does have the silicone kind of bit at the top. So you've got a nice natural looking hairline, which is quite good. Um, and yeah, this wig, feels really nice, much like my previous wig, I didn't mention, um, but they feel quite thick and luscious, these two wigs so far, like I'm not seeing any gaps in the in the hair immediately, um, so that's really nice quality actually. So I'm pretty sure the buns that I got were meant to match this wig um, in colour, so I will just open these. So they're just like these little buns that have like a clip, you know, to clip into the wig. Um, little little space buns I suppose. A little bit misshapen from storage I imagine. So this wig here looks like a bit of fun. Um, I forgot I got it honestly. Um, let me just bring out the paper. So it's this super short kind of wiggly hair um, wig which I love. I love wearing short wigs. They're just so much easier and less hot and like you don't have to use clips because they're not heavy. Um, yeah so a little short wig but it's like a split wig but an ombre wig as well so it, we've got like this you know purpley blue on this side and then this kind of like pink on the side here and at the back it's really short at the back to be honest it kind of even has very little like short hairs I wonder how well I'm gonna do getting all of my hair underneath here but yeah it's it's a fun wig I don't know it's a little bit different I feel like it might look cute with some super OTT suite styles that is like a lot going on and it's all a bit like chaotic cute. Um, I think this might do well for that. And yeah, the top is like like a silvery kind of white, which is quite nice. Um, it has bangs, of course, and it also does have the like silicon part at the top um, for the natural hairline, which is really lovely. And on the inside, we just have, ooh, <laughs> If you can see we just have the two wig clasps on the side um, not that we'll be using them now this wig is definitely thinner than the other ones like when I move it around I can see the you know the wafts the wefts whatever <laughs> underneath quite easily um, so yeah feels a little bit cheaper um, because of that but it does look pretty cute overall. Next up are these two wigs which have been packaged together. Um, that's not necessarily bad. Honestly, less plastic is always better. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, just, just interesting. This next wig is pretty adorable. Um, it's something that I've like contemplated doing to my own hair, um, but I'm just too lazy to keep up with like dyeing my hair, you know? Um, so it is just like virgin hair at the moment. I haven't dyed it since I was a teenager um, and this is just the color it is. But yeah, the wig that I got, are you ready? Ba -ba -bum! Oh my gosh, cute! It's like that super typical internet teenager <laughs> kind of hair nowadays. You know, back in the day when we were doing this stuff, we were just emo kids. <laughs> um, but yeah, nah, so it's like a shorter wig, a little bit longer though. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it will hit my um, shoulders for sure. And then, yeah, the front part is dyed blonde, which is cute as. So it has little bangs and then also like the little parts on the side are also blonde, which I think is really cute. It also has the silicon top for the nice like natural hairline look, which is really cute. And the inside, ooh, the inside does not have any um, wig clasps inside. <laughs> so that's quite interesting. And this one has a tag. 
just hanging from it casually. Um, so another indicator that this is just from a different <laughs> Taobao shop than some of the other wigs. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this one. I think it will be fun and like, I wonder if you can tell with the coloring, perhaps, but like this isn't black, which I'm super into. It's like just a really deep chocolate brown, maybe would I say? Mm, sorry, it's got one like short blonde hair here for no reason. I need to just yank that out or something. Um, but what I was saying is that, yeah, this brown looks really nice and natural. Like it's kind of got some like lighter-ish parts that just, yeah, it looks really good. I'm, I'm really excited for this one actually. I'm wondering if I got two of the same wig and I didn't realize it when I was ordering it. Um, or maybe they sent me two by mistake. Or maybe they're different actually. I've not even opened them yet. This wig here is a interesting color. It's like a light brown, but I feel like this one has hints of green or yellow. I'm not sure. I just, like looking at it, I feel like it might not look the nicest on me. Um, but you yeah, know, nah, it's a cute <laughs> wig. Another short one, straight hair. Looks like it comes down to the shoulders. It's got bangs, the same like silicone top as well. And this one also does not have any wig clasps. Um, but yeah, with short wigs, I don't use them at all, so I'm not that bothered um, with that. But yeah, I'm interested by the color. I did want some like brown wigs because sometimes I want like my natural hair look, but um, I don't want to wear my natural hair because it's quite thin and stuff. And when I wear lots of head accessories, like it's kind of, it's just more comfortable to have a wig to like clip all of those into. And it just looks like more lush and big, which suits um, in my opinion, personally, it suits the silhouette um, really nicely. So yeah, nah. <laughs> and I never, I never want to cut my hair short either, so I don't know, wigs are fun for doing those things. And the lucky last wig was not the same wig, um, it's just a longer version of that wig. It seems the same in the colour and tone, which isn't my favourite, but we'll see. Um, the front comes with bangs. It has a silicone, silicone top as well. Um, and this one, yeah, whoops, whoops. <laughs> this one does have some wig clasps on the inside, just the two of them. I already have some assumptions on which might be my favorites, um, so I'll probably start with those. But yeah, I will now um, pop all of the wigs on and also trim up the bangs so they like fit my face appropriately. Um, so yeah, you can see how they look. I have like natural daylight. This is like my window in my bedroom. Um, so it's more or less, you know, what they will look like when they are outside. Um, in my opinion, wigs always look like wigs. Unless you have those really beautiful human hair wigs that are like legit. Um, yeah, I don't know, wigs, they look like wigs and I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's uh, necessarily bad. I think cheap wigs, yeah, look bad and cheap, um, but like synthetic wigs that you can tell are wigs. Um, and it's like an accessory to me. I don't know. It's kind of like people used to think makeup, being able to tell you were wearing makeup was bad, but like, I don't know. Again, it's an accessory. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, I'm gonna pop these wigs on and show you how they look. <laughs> Ba -ba -bum. So here is the first wig and oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I think it is really cute. I think, yeah, it suits me like the blonde suits my skin. I think it looks quite cute. I love the dark wigs. I'm able to put like, you know, my hair behind my ears and um, you can't see if any of my natural hair is poking out or like if you can, it blends in. So I'm always um, a fan of dark haired wigs for that reason. But yeah, I think it's really cute. I, I just love these parts being blonde. Um, it's adorable. It almost makes me want to do this to my own hair, um, almost. But that's why we have wigs, right? To do these things we don't always want. I have left the bangs a little bit longer than usual um, because I do like them like halfway over my eyebrows actually, especially when it's like blonde in the front at least, um, since my eyebrows are like really dark. Uh, yeah, I think it's nicer having the wig come over the eyebrows a little bit um, just so they're not so like intensely dark, um, I suppose. But yeah, no, nah, this, this wig is really cute. It's gonna be one of my favorites for sure. I think I will wear it a lot. Um, it is quite big, so like on my head, I can feel the wig like wrinkling kind of thing, but you can't see that um, or anything. So you can't tell that it's quite big. And it is better that it's bigger, I suppose. You know, it fits more um, people that way. 
But yeah, I think it's super cute. I really love it. I think the length could have been a smidge shorter. Like it's kind of right here and I might have liked it like just a smidge shorter. But um, I won't bother cutting that myself. Too much to cut. Um, but yeah, this is the first wig and perhaps my favorite. I love it. And now on to the next one. And here's the next wig. So this is the blonde one and I love it. I think I've finally found a blonde wig which like I'm into the tone of the color. Um, I think it's really cute. I need to put some silicon spray into the bottom before I like tangle it up too much. Um, and if you don't know about silicon spray you can buy it at like car shops I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah it just it keeps the ends of your long wigs like nice and slippery I suppose so they're not like knotting up as much and I noticed that they don't uh, frizz as much as well when you add the spray and you need the littlest bit like just a couple of spritz um, you know you can always add more you can't really wash it out very easily um, so yeah get yourself some silicon spray but aside from that I yes I love this wig I think it is really cute I'm finally happy with the tone um, yeah I think it looks nice on me I, I really like the curls at the bottom you can see it feels like or it looks quite voluminous right it's actually quite long um, so yeah I think the curls are really pretty I'm just I'm super into it and so I don't have the buns on just yet I will put those on next um, but yeah I thought I thought it looked cute I don't know I'm really I'm really happy with this wig it fits my head quite nicely it's not as large as the other one so I'm not feeling like any crinkling um, in the wig cap itself um, yeah I like to I like to tuck a little bit behind my ears I think yeah it does look cute like that um, I normally also like normally stick a little bit of the wig down to the sides of my head so when I'm turning you can't see my like lovely dark hair underneath um, but we're not doing that at the moment um, so yeah the bangs could do with a little bit more of a trim but I'm kind of just doing it pretty quickly um, so if they look uneven yeah, nah. um, I will I will trim them up some more so yeah let me try on those buns hang on so here's the wig with the buns um I think when you're wearing like over the top super sweet Lolita fashion it will look very cute and appropriate um perhaps because they're just reminding me a lot of Sailor Moon <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling some cosplay vibes and I'm just super not into that um, I mean I like cosplay but like far removed from Lolita obviously I think that I will likely wear them um, with some super over-the-top sweet looks um, I recently got some like little cute hair ties that will look adorable around um, these things because they definitely do need something around them or you'll be able to see the clip quite easily um, again if I gave them some love I might be able to you know shape them into a way which wouldn't show the clip as easily but yeah, nah, I think they're pretty cute. Um, so yes, on to the next one. Bum, ba, bum. So here is that purple ombre wig. So it's actually much longer than I think it appears in the front. Um, so you can see the back kind of thing. And if I bring all the hair forward, like yeah, it looks like a, a much longer wig, I think. Um, but the way I like to wear it is just having like a couple pieces near the front, um, at the front of my outfit kind of thing. So yeah, it feels quite short when I'm looking at it like this. But aside from that, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really cute. I, I like the color. I like this ashy blondy white, you know, at the top, silver perhaps. Um, it's, it's nice. I think in this coordinate, I'm not loving it the way that I would in other coordinates in particular. Um, perhaps if I had some purples going on or something else, you know, I'd warm up to it a little bit more. I'm definitely excited to coordinate this wig with some different dresses and accessories and see how it goes. Um, I think overall it looks really cute, it just doesn't suit this outfit the best, so you might be able to hear in my voice that I'm not like ecstatic about it, but um, I do think it's a lovely wig. I think the quality feels really lush and nice, and if I wasn't shopping Taobao, you know, I'd probably be happy with the price. Um, but yeah, nah, I think I think it's cute. I love the purple. I'm on a real purple kick at the moment. Um, but yes, so that's this one, I suppose. Uh, we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so here is that wig. <laughs> I've not cut the bangs at all, um, so if they look weird and long and now my 
head is kind of weird um that's why and the reason i'm not cutting the bangs is because i am not sure this wig is my style um do i believe that it would suit some of my dresses yeah perhaps i think the back is better than i anticipated so i will show you hey guys editing me so while looking at this footage i realize i actually hate the back of this wig i don't like how the hair is all of a sudden straight for some reason and as you can clearly see it's really so thin that it's just showing through to all of the like wefts in the wig um so yeah i think it's actually pretty poor quality and i really wouldn't be buying this wig for this price i don't know i think it did better getting all my hair under there than I anticipated. Maybe there's a bunch of hair sticking out, but it doesn't feel like it. But you see how short it is, eh? Like it's a it's like really short at the back. I do like the length from the front, uh, kind of. <laughs> Maybe a smidge longer, I don't know. I think it just, it makes your neck look nice um, <laughs> when you have a little bit, you can see it easier. What am I trying to say? Um, but yeah, it's also really like, <laughs> like triangular. <laughs> feeling because it's kind of voluminous but um it's cute I, I do think it's cute and in terms of quality like yeah nah it's it's thinner than the other wigs for sure to be honest the more I wear it the more I kind of like it I don't know <laughs> I don't know um anyways we will try on I think we have two more to go the brown ones <laughs> So here is the short brown wig. I love it. I think it's really cute. Um, so I wasn't sure about the tone of the wig when I was holding it up for some reason. Um, something just looked, I don't know, like weird. But um, I think once it's on, it's actually sweet as. I think the color's nice. I think it looks super natural. Like, you know, this could be my hair. Um, I like the length. Again, maybe a smidge shorter, but like not as short as that wig I just had on. I just, I want a little, little bit more neck. Um, but aside from that, it is really cute. It is like that first wig where I feel like it's a little bit bigger, so I can feel the wig itself like wrinkling a smidge, but you can't tell. And like if I turn around, you can see how short it is at the back, perhaps my camera focuses on it um but you yeah, know like there's no way you can tell that there's like slight wrinkling going on it just looks thicker and lusher probably um i just want to flick it around a little bit <laughs> that's why i love short wigs they are so much more fun you can just like i don't know move around like a human and they don't get like crazy knotty um but yeah i feel like if I don't want to wear my natural hair, which is often, um, I would definitely just chuck this on and still have some like cute natural vibes and yeah, it would look really cute. I, um, I didn't even trim the bangs on this one at all. So they just like, they were the correct size for me or good enough size anyways to start with, which is really cool because I'm not, you know, the best at trimming the bangs. Um, I give it a go. And if you're nervous about doing it and you don't want to ruin a wig that you've like paid money for um have a chat to a hairdresser because i feel like most hairdressers would um chop it for you and then you can like wear it and yeah they could probably chop it to like make it suit a lot so now i just have the long kind of version of this one to try on i'm hoping it's just as good because i also like long wigs um even though they are more of a pain in the bum to wear um, i think they look cute so yes we will try that one on and that's the lucky last here is the final wig so yay it's um it's pretty cute i feel like i spoke too soon with that other brown wig assuming that um i would absolutely love this wig and i mean it is cute i do like it but it's it's really big and it's like too big um which i've not really had experience of before a wig being too big but um i don't know if you can tell but it's like this bit keeps like poking up and giving me like triangle like effect at the top which I don't like and it goes quite far down my neck I mean if I turn around you can see how long it is perhaps but I can feel like the wig cap like halfway down my neck here and then maybe if you can see my ear it's like almost horizontal <laughs> like I feel like there's just a lot of wig cap like pushing it down and I do like to have my ears exposed um <laughs> when I'm wearing wigs so it might just look a bit funny I don't know um but the color I think the color is sweet as I was being um unsure about the color before but 
nah, I think it's I think it's cute. I really like it. I do really like the like texture of the wig or like the wig fibers because like I've not added any silicon spray to any of the wigs just yet. Um, but without doing that, like the wig moves around freely and it doesn't knot very easily. Like I'm able to kind of run my fingers through it and have the hair kind of remain like human hair almost, you know, like it's not frizzing up immediately when I touch it or something like that. And I feel like the movement, yeah, it just, it feels like I'm able to move it around without knotting it like hard out. Um, and perhaps it's the kind of curl that it is or the wig fiber itself. Um, but for that, I do, I do really like the texture. I wouldn't want you to see my weird horizontal ears because like the cap can even like come down and sit over my ears. Actually, yeah, if I do that, like kind of pull the cap down, I feel like that makes the top of it look smoother. But now, perhaps if you're able to see, like half of my ear is covered up and um, you yeah, know, nah. <laughs> I'm not super into that. In terms of quality, I do kind of feel, nah, 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 that short wig, which was the like half, half color, that one's probably the least um, good on the quality scale. And this would be next after it only because like it does feel a smidge thin in some places um but i don't know it is pretty nice i feel like yeah i i will wear this wig when i'm too lazy to do my own hair because clearly it's very much like my own hair um it's just yeah got more volume in it um i wish my hair was thicker and so that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which wig you think I might have suited the best, actually. I would love to know. Um, and yeah, it was it was really nice hanging out. Uh, perhaps you can tell my tone of voice, my mum, you know, yeah, feeling a bit better. I don't know, distractions are nice often. Um, anyways, so yeah, <laughs> that was everything. Thank you again for watching and hanging out with me. Thank you to UV Me for gifting me these wigs for a review. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, anyways, I, yeah, that's the lot. I'm getting awkward. I should just leave. Um, thank you, and hopefully I'll get to see you in my next video. Bye!